Belters and welcome. How are you all? Have you had a good August? It's only the beginning of August for me, but by the time I put this up, it's almost the beginning of September. That's the dogs making noise out there. So how have you been? What have you been up to? And my name is Philippa. If you don't know, I am a needle felter with a needle felting business. I make uh, sculptures and I do a couple of kits and PDFs and online courses so welcome if you're new and if you're not thank you for coming back. Um, what's been happening it's the 7th so uh, I have just been finishing off the video for the hair kit for the Beatrice and Bonnie, done the video, put that up, got the link for the video, put that on the instructions that go inside it and then ordered the instructions. So I ordered 50 sets of instructions. There's 43 pages on these instructions and it's over a hundred pounds just for 50 instructions. There's no way around it in my view, unless anyone's got any um, ideas, but basically when someone buys a kit, they expect instructions inside it. And I always do uh, very detailed instructions. I'm not gonna make the instructions uh, like shorter but um, sometimes I think, could I just put a link on and they could find it on a link? But I, again, I think people expect physical instructions. So I've done the video, um, waiting for the instructions. I've made up some of the kits. So there's a lot of stuff um, I've got basically on the shelves, just sort of getting ready for craft fairs coming up. Um, those are the kits I've got all done at the top. So they're ready, waiting for instructions. Then I have stickers. I've got to make up some more sheep kits. I had four orders for kits over the weekend and I have to say shout out to everybody in America who orders it's so kind of you because the postage is crippling um, and it yeah I just can't believe somebody ordered two you know it's over 85 pounds with taxes with postage so you know thank you so much but I put the postage up um, exactly as it is for posting to America so people can see that that's what it is um, and it's up to them to make the decision to purchase and thank you very much for those that do it's really amazing um, and half of my orders go to America so it's if you're a seller um, on Etsy or on your own website I do recommend uh, definitely having either um, if you're <laughs> if you're in America I'd probably have the UK on it I don't know about Europe I've had trouble with Europe so I don't inc include Europe anymore um, so many items got lost didn't get through came back to me and you know there's only so much you can do but for me as a UK uh, seller posting to America is huge business so uh, definitely do it if you're doing it that way around I've made a couple of um, very small Highland cows getting ready for craft fairs every now and again I have a bit of a panic and think oh I need to make some small um, craft fairs I'll just show you I tidied up the garage I'll just show you that now so I just wanted to show you this. I tidied up the garage area even more so. Those who've been following me for a while. <laughs> I had so much stuff in the garage. So I've got a proper table here. This is all the walls underneath. Um, there's a row of walls I need to use up, but this is all for kits. Um, this is the heat press that I'm going to get into this month. I'm going to put, I've put aside time. And then I've got all my packing stuff. That's wool. That's just the empty box for the heat press so I know it works. These are, this is all my packing stuff. There's more shelves down there. Then we've got wool, got my carder. And I bought this recently for doing um, pictures. And it's, uh, this is all, this is not my stuff. That's my husband's. But yeah, and then I put this down. I bought this because I wanted to use it if I got into Yarndale as a sort of floor covering in my stand. So I'm going to sort of test it out a bit. But yeah, so I've got this to work in. I've got, this is a radiator my dad had for years. And I've got it here because I know in winter it's going to be particularly bad. And then I've got all of my stool um, stuff back there. And some of it, some of my crates are back there as well. So yeah, this is just a real help for me to be able to make kits out here because I make such a mess. So tidying up that garage area is really great for me. It just gives me that space when I want to do kits because if I have it in here, I have to do everything um, within a couple of hours. I don't, you know, I can't leave it overnight because it's just such a mess. Whereas out there, I can sort of leave it semi done and come back to it the next day. So that's really good. So I just wanted to show you this display unit that I got. Um, I'm probably going to put, it's not as wide as I'd hoped. These things never are when they arrive, but it's really, I love it. It's really, really good. 
um, I think you can see it quite well. So I've pulled the curtain just because the light um, makes it really hard to see. So um, looking at it, so I can definitely fit my Highland cows on it, the mushrooms. I think the hairs I do are going to be slightly too big. So because of that, I think I'm going to do mainly, this is a Highland cow full on display or because um, they work really well. If you look at that one there, that's the kind of size they normally are. Um, Highland cows and sheep maybe that one works well I'm thinking of painting it white but then I do have quite a bit of wood on my stand so I think it would be all right but it was about 40 pounds off Etsy so I'm really pleased with it. it's really solid it's MDF wood I think but for uh, what it is and this comes off as well so that's a separate top unit so I could do just two here and then put quite a few big ones. This is a flat base under there. Let me see if I can just pull that off and show you. So there we go. So you've got like, you could have it as just a flat base with two shelves and then this is separate. Sorry about the mess. So yeah, really useful. I, uh, for what the price was, I'm really pleased with it. It's really definitely very solid. I never show you this side. So this is like the messy side. Look, I bought that. It says, hello autumn is at the top there. I think everyone's getting ready for autumn. I see so many autumny pumpkin mushroom things going up already. Uh, speaking of that, there's a lot of mushrooms on my walk, so uh, let's have a little footage of some of those. Right, these are all done um, so I've just got to pop them up there I'm not gonna let you see that because I stand on my chair and then um, once they're up there I'm going to update Etsy and my shop uh, my website so that's good couple of hours and they're all done so I'm excited it's Wednesday the kits um, the kits the instructions for this uh, hair kit are arriving today a day earlier so I've done the Etsy listing got some photos on this it's kind of all ready to go I've just got to do the video with because I want to open up the box with I like to do it properly um, I've just sold some of my notepads and cards do you remember my cards I've got a big box a big box full of cards they don't really sell at craft fairs, but they're so cute I really like them look I've got a little Highland cow my nice rabbit, sheep, more Highland cows. I did one of that cow. I did one of the Herdwick, which I really liked. And then obviously my most popular is this one. 
with the two little Highland cows. Um, so I've got notepads with those Highland, those two little Highland cows on them, and they've sold really well actually. I'm going to do one with some of my mushrooms, so I've got to take some pictures for that. Oh, I'm not knocking it, am I? So I've got to take some pictures for that, so I'm going to do the, the mushrooms. I've also written out inventory. Oh, I spent all day yesterday uploading videos onto Thinkific for the... Because, okay, so these, these hairs, the little hair kits, so I've got the hair kit, I've got the PDF, which you can buy separately um, if you prefer PDF instructions on Etsy, and then I've got a mini course on Thinkific, which is the same price as the PDF because I can't see any... I, I, you know, it has to be the same price, I think, anyway. So it's a really cheap little mini course on Thinkific. So I spent all day yesterday uploading all the videos for that. It took forever, and I'm just like, why? And then I sort of start to construct the course, build the landing page, and so that's all ready. I think I can actually launch that today. And then once everything's ready, I'll sort of do a little video for YouTube, I think. Just, I think that's the best way and then pop it on Instagram. I just wanted to show I did inventory for my kits. So you kind of think, oh yeah, just do a couple of kits. It's really easy. There are, oh, let me count them, 25 and 25. So that's, there's probably about 40 items that I have to keep on top of that I have in stock. And I, um, um, you know, so when I go to make up 10 kits, I've got it all. That's why it's not as easy as you think sometimes. <laughs> and you think, well, you go to do it and then you go, oh, I haven't got the stickers for caution needles on the little tiny envelope. It's just like tiny things. So I've inventoried it all out. So I know to look and I can check and I can write numbers down. I've got some baskets coming for out there so I can see all these things ready made. But yeah, it feels a little bit more, not professional, but well, I was, I am organized, but a little bit more organized. So I know exactly what I'm doing. So let's hope the instructions arrive and um, we can get going with that, really excited. And I'm just doing this really sad looking Highland cow. He'll look good when he's done, as I always say, but I was trying to use up old wool as well. I've got so much wool. I was thinking as well, I'm gonna make up some wool packs. I'm gonna do some autumn colors. I literally, I have so much wool that it's almost overwhelming to go out there and see it all. So why don't I try and make up some really exciting colored packs for people? I also thought about, because I have my carder, making up a Highland cow colour and selling it for people who want to do sort of a long-haired Highland cow because it's always hard to find the perfect colour. That's something that's also going around in my head too. And now, as I said, everyone's doing autumny things, even though we're still in August, it's the 9th. I'm now thinking of autumny things in my head the whole time. Anyway, lots to do. So the instructions have arrived, here they are, really pleased. Um, so I've got to go through, sort them all, um, hole punch them all and tie them all up with string because they're just, I think it's a bit too thick for stapler, I'll have a go. And I'm just going through to make sure that everything follows in order so it's all correct. And I've managed to launch um, the video sort of on its own on Thinkific. It's really funny on Thinkific, when you launch a course, confetti comes out from the sides on the screen. Um, so it's really sweet. So I've put together a load of bags. I've got blues, greens. This is like an autumny mix. Really nice colours in there. And then I did a browns. Oops. So I did about... 12 bags, I think it is. I think I'm going to put them on at about 850. I've just got to really double check. There's about 125 grams in each. So, oh, you're going to fall. But yeah, they look really nice all done up. It'd be nice to have them at my craft fairs, maybe. Um, but yeah, I might pop those on Facebook, I think would probably be the best place. See how they go. So here I am in the garage again. So I did those bags earlier, which I showed you. And now I am mixing up some Highland cow colour which um, I'm thinking I'm going to sell. But this first lot, I've got to put it back through the carder again. It takes a while, but it's a mix of four colours. But um, I think I'm going to keep the first one because the whole point is I do loads of Highland cows. So I'm definitely going to keep the first one and then I'll only put a couple 
up because I've got a really good mix in here which I know was a limited edition at World of Wool and is no longer available so I'm definitely going to keep some for myself. I'm going to do a video on the carder at some point so I won't talk you through it now. So these are the finished um, Highland Cow colours. Do you know it took me ages to mix up these two because it's four colours. I put it through once and then I put it all through again. It's not a viable option I think for making money at all. I'm going to keep that one that's got about 140 grams and I've got lots more that I can still mix up for myself. But I'm going to sell this one. It's 100 grams, so I'm going to sell it, I think, at about £12, pounds, um, all mixed up. So the colour it is, is, is that one, um, which is a perfect... Oh, that's a bit dark, which is a perfect coat colour. So um, it's not that one, that's different, so it's that one. Um, so I'm going to pop it on Facebook with the others and see how it goes. So I posted those packs on Facebook or one of the Facebook Facebook groups. Um, yeah, it's just a one-off just to get rid of some wool. I might be able to do some more packs if they were popular. But then, so I have to check that I've got PayPal for business, which I have. Check my email so I can take payments that way. And then um, postage is two ninety nine. So there's lots of things. You don't just go, oh, I'll just put this wool on and see how much it is. You do have to sort of check things before you start posting but yes yeah, so I just put one of that Highland Cow colour up it's honestly it took me so long to make if I get several people wanting it I'll be like oh, I would consider it I suppose but yeah because I've got a tiny little carder I think everyone will be laughing at me with their big carders <laughs> watching me make it up but yeah we'll see how that goes oh and I sold two of my hair kits as well which I was really really pleased about thank you it was Linda and Abby so thank you so much if uh, you're watching I was so excited that I've sold some of them so hopefully I'll get some feedback eventually that um, they're all okay but I have had Sharma's done the PDF and Sharma uh, she was one of uh, my patrons and um, we still talk quite a lot but she managed to spot several mistakes in the PDF for me so Sharma if you're watching thank you so much for all of that work that you did oh and another thing I had to do a bit of a shout out for Sarah Brown from the original needle felting um, Facebook group I think most of you will know it she has done a vlog of her month so I'm really excited to be able to watch another needle felter and what they do in the month so I do recommend going to watch that so brilliant it's really good to see so my tote bags have arrived I'm just gonna open them with you okay so I got some little cotton pouches I'm going to do a felting design on these so I've got a couple small so sort of for like your needles and then a little bit bigger for wools and stuff oh I like them actually they're quite nice oh yes they fold out let's have a look boxy oh yeah that's nice once I iron them as oh that's really good and these do the same actually yep they're nice it's amazing how different the blues are that's a blue yeah, this is just a cute little one-off one I got. Is it boxy? Yeah, it's got a boxy bottom. That's cute, just a little handbaggy size. And I got some navy blue. These are very general cotton tote bags, but I don't like them as much. But they're not bad. Just think the colours. Yeah, well, it's all different blues, I suppose. It's got nice long handles and then these I really like. So these are really nice tote bags with a boxy bottom, jute handle and so I'll do the design on here. I think these are really smart. They're sort of a tote bag but a little bit nicer. Yeah, I like them a lot. So they will be good. I just uh, went to do my heat press, started reading up about it and... Um, I needed to order an American plug, which I thought I had ordered. You know, it's the kind of thing I'm going to find at some point. So anyway, yeah, love these bags. Nice, big, thick bags. Really beautiful. And I love that little one. Might have to keep that little one for me. And these pouches. And then this, so-so, but still very usable. So my notepads have arrived. So we are going to open them now. I'll show you them when they're all open. There's a hopefully a hundred in each I think. So here we are, open them up, are they any good? 
oh yes perfect just like the last one so that's fine so this must be oh the mushrooms <laughs> oh i love them <laughs> they're only little but i really like them that's fantastic so there we go i have two notepads now So um, I've gone through quality control check to them. So I ordered a hundred of each design, the Highland cows are over there, I've got them to do. And I have got 127 that are usable out of a hundred ordered and probably about 10 that are not. So they always oversupply with notepads because there's a lot of them that are going to be um, like that's got a slight bend at the top. There's, they, some of them come apart, some of them have these bits on the end which you could try to pull off, but <clears throat> they always oversupply. However, I've got 27 extra that are definitely usable at the moment. Oh, one or two more I might pick up as I go through again, but so I'm gonna stick this on the back of the notepad like some of you so kindly mentioned I should do, not stick it on the back of the plastic packaging. So I'm gonna stick these stickers on the back put them in the cellophane and then put these on. So I've managed to get, I don't know, probably about 30 packaged up and I've used up, finished up all my stickers and I've got them still to do. Probably need some more of these as well. I don't know why I thought I needed to do these stickers quite so big. I'm just going to reorder because on a sheet of paper I only got about 16, but I guess I didn't think I'd have this many notepads. So I'm just going to reorder these. I've just reordered cellophane. These are compostable bags which is really good so I've just reordered them I have to sort of note as well when I look at the prices of these these bags are about 10p each so you know you've got to add these things into the price and those stickers and those stickers so overall it pushes the price up um, a little bit so yeah I'm just going to reorder and I'll put these aside um, and that's the Highland Cow ones I haven't even got to yet so we're gonna have to wait for all the stickers to come in I'm going to go back to making this little one here a bit of a mess just wanted to have a chat with you. I'm just doing this one. Um, it's a bit hairy, but they always are. So I went to a place called Slathwaite or Slowate if you're local. That's what they call it, I think. So it's Slathwaite. So it's really nice. I found this lovely shop called The Gallery. Um, I'll show you some footage of it now so you can see what I'm talking about. And it's absolutely beautiful. So I couldn't resist asking, so I said, are you looking for any new artists? I'm sorry if you can hear the rain. This is what's happening out there right now. It's just absolutely really mixed weather at the moment. Um, I said, are you looking for new artists? She said, oh, yes, we are. What do you do? I said, needle felting. Oh, we don't have any of those. And I said, yeah, I did notice because I've had a good look round. So, yeah, it's a really nice place. So the terms are <coughs> um, £10 a month which that other shop that contacted me was a lot more than that a month and a six month contract um so it's 10 pounds a month and then 30 percent commission but it's really good because they pay you monthly which is something to look out for because i really struggled with the other place i was at because they paid me every three months and then they didn't pay me on the dot um it was a couple of weeks after so it was really hard to sort of monitor what had sold all the time so they pay you monthly um, everything was labelled really well with the artist numbers on the back. I always like to check that. Uh, really nice shelves. Um, I don't think, because I talked to them about people touching my stuff and how I had a little bit of a problem with that last time. She says, not a problem, we'll put you up high. They've got three full-time staff in there and one of those three staff would be assigned to me. So they look after my pieces, they check the shelves are neat. And they would tell me when stock runs low because that was another thing I had to monitor stocks. I had to go in and see what had sold and what hadn't. And it was quite hard to find everything in that other shop. And then, as you know, obviously everything got touched and a little bit 
dishevelled, but that was my mistake for maybe putting the wrong things in. Uh, so it's 30% commission and that £10. So if I sold £100, that would be £40 I would pay them because it would be £30 plus that 10 So it's kind of 40% commission when you think of it like that. It's not to be ignored, that £10, but it's still, you don't sign into any contract and I could just give it a go. And I really feel like I would love to have some of my pieces in there and it's always good to have lots of ways of earning money rather than just craft fairs but I have to put that price on my items that 30% and that makes me feel a bit funny as well because I think god that makes things look really expensive because normally I pay at a craft fair it would be about 10% by the time I've sold everything 10 to 15 and on Etsy it's 16% when I work it all out at the end of the year as to how much um, Etsy takes from my bills so I don't know how people do it by just selling in galleries all the time it's really quite expensive but um, I think I'll give it a go uh, so that would be exciting to see what happens over the next I'll I'll sort of agree to do three months and then let's be honest I'd stay till after Christmas so we'll give it a go but it's a lovely lovely shop a lovely feel and I really liked it um, so I just sort of wanted to talk to you about that I know that sometimes you can rent a shelf and say it would be £25 for the month and then maybe 10% commission. That's definitely a cheaper way of doing it. Also, so if my friend is in there. She's called The Proverbial Hair. Um, this is some of her, her work. But also I want to have a chat with her because I don't know if there's any leeway with that 30%. Maybe if you were selling items and then you said, oh, I'm struggling with the 30%, could we do it at 25%? Is that possible in shops and galleries? I don't know. So that's a thought. Anyway, so I thought I'd just share that with you. Um, but yeah, I'm just carrying on with this one. Just trying to get this one done. Um, and I sold one of those packs. So that was really good to a lady called Jules. So thank you. I don't know whether to put them on Instagram. It's not really... My Instagram is not really for selling stuff like that. But I could take them to my craft fairs because they look really nice, those packs. So... That's good. Right, carry on with this cow. Not the best angle, but this is just a really quick update. So it's Sunday the 13th of August and um, I've sold five of those packs of wool. Really slow to start, like nothing sold and I thought I'm not going to sell a thing. But yeah, five, so I'm really pleased with that. Um, I made this little chap. So thinking of that shop, number one, I spoke to my friend. I actually saw her out on a walk who's got some stuff in that shop called The Gallery and she says she sells really well and the lady's lovely and really um, looks after you so uh, definitely one I'm going to go for so I was trying to make some items really really quickly and I made this in about half an hour so if I could make some more things sort of around this um, speed and this price point that would be really good and then the other thing which is going to sound like I'm a stalker but I'm not Rachel Feltz who does the most amazing um, horse felt in particular she does loads she does hairs and all sorts she's absolutely you know her work's fantastic she's exhibiting at a show that is about an hour away so it's a agricultural show so we're gonna go there this afternoon so that'll be good let's let's um take you there I hope she doesn't mind me turning up and I'm gonna ask if I can film some of her felts but I know she might be a bit shy so I don't know if I'll get any footage of her but really excited She put her mind to late night hours up the hill, serving coffee to strangers, talking about revenue. She kept dreaming of a world big enough for everyone. But she knew it must rain before it grows. She kept dreaming of the day, butterflies so by the wheel, even though she down and never showed
decades old, but it doesn't matter. Stumble across all memories. So we're in the garage, and I just wanted to show you. I have been practicing with the heat press. I had a go of it one night. This is in no way near the final designs, and these tote bags are 100% practice because they are the cheapest tote bags ever, and the design would be a lot bigger, but. This is me just having a bit of fun with a couple of designs, trying to work out what to do. These were free designs from the paper that I used. But, you know, just to show you, I'm sort of working out how to do things. Um, I'm going to, so this is where you print it at home and do it um, with these ones. But you can see there's a slight outline on this paper. So I'm going to order a direct to sort of transfer a large a bit of paper which are peel these ones were the peel ones where you put it on and then you peel it off much much better but you know I am starting the process and so you know I'll be working towards putting some designs on these in time so really looking forward to that but yeah I am starting it and these things really are trial and error because of the pressure as you put it down has to be different the temperature has to be different and the length of time so that's the, those are the kind of things you have to play with to get the best um, adherence to the items. But yeah, I'm getting there with these. I'm, I'm, I've started, shall we say. So this is um, a trip to York that we had. We popped to York for the day and York is a beautiful, historic um, city. And it's got a wall that goes all the way around it. And this is York Cathedral, which is stunning. There's just tons of old shops. Um, it's Oh, I found these everywhere I go. I look for felts. This is Heart Felt, I think is the name of the lady. They are so cute knitting sheep. Um, but uh, this is Betty's Tea Rooms, which you have to book for before you go. And it's just got gorgeous afternoon teas. And all the buildings are so old. But Diagon Alley from Harry Potter was possibly potentially based on uh, the shambles which is I'll, you'll see in a minute but yeah I found this independent makers shop and there were some felted items in there so I'm always sort of looking and, and curious about who's selling what but yeah it's um, very very old it's beautiful uh, this is a Christmas shop that's open all year round and I challenge you to walk all the way through it it's a one-way system it's huge um, despite the fact the rooms are tiny um, and again, more felted things, but to try and walk all the way through and not purchase something. <laughs> so we ended up buying a couple of little baubles. Oh, and I really like these ceramic rabbits. It's my birthday coming up soon. And I was like showing my husband going, mm, I really like those. <laughs> so hopefully you might understand. Um, but yeah, so this is the shambles, which was um, the Harry Potter. And there's a Harry Potter shop down there or the shop that must not be named. This is it here. There's always queues outside it. We have been in it before. And um, the purchase of the day, I have to say, this is an artist in the street, but the purchase of the day, my son, he's 18, and he bought a sword from Lord of the Rings. And here it is. So, yeah, we had a great time. Really enjoyed it. It's the 20th, uh, Sunday, Sunday today. Um, so I've just been doing some... I've emailed the shop, the gallery... Uh, place so I'm hoping or hopeful that she likes my stuff but I've kind of got together a few smaller items just so I have a really good price point with her I'm trying to do sort of quick items as well so I did this guy and I think he took me about 35 minutes um, so that was quite a easy one to do and then based on that I've done that I might give him a tail I think he needs a tail and then based on that I've done another fluffy one and then I just ended up doing a big chunky <laughs> island cow. I do like it. I really like them. I want to keep them for myself sometimes, but yeah, so cute. Um, then I've just done a little mushroom with interesting colours, which um, I'm just doing another one. I like the sort of chunky bases. Uh, so just trying to get a few little bits done. I have also ordered for the tote bags. I've ordered what I said was a, it's like a big uh, gang sheet, it's called, that you put um your pictures on and then you cut them out and then the heat press puts them on and you peel it off and it's a lot um the graphics are better the colors are better and it's a lot easier and nicer so my son helped me with the sort of graphics side of putting it all on a 
a, a sheet of paper because you put it on a, a PNG file and so my son helped me do that so I had all the things that I wanted so I've made decisions do you know it's really hard because with the tote bags I find it really hard to make a decision on a design and go with it so I just say to myself right do the design that I really love not what I think is right do one that I love and then maybe other people will love it too so I've done that the video I just did was the one on the pan pastels and I've started using them already so sort of doing all the little pink bits and it just saves a little bit of time so it's quite good uh, so many people commented on that a load of uh, sort of I think a variety of mixed comments yes everyone's you know fine about it but some people are like do you think it devalues your art a bit you know is it like cheating I think is the word and I sort of think well no I don't think it is now I've tried it definitely I wasn't sure about it before but I'm really pleased I've tried it um, and a lot of people with obviously uh, using things that are a lot cheaper than pan pastels which is um, absolutely fine and but I tried some of my makeup colors and it just didn't go on as well but I'm sure there's some really good chalk pastels out there that people use as well so yeah a lot of um, conversation around that video so that was quite good and then I actually did a shorts video to answer some questions which made it a bit easier than repeatedly typing the same thing to everybody so that was really good so the next video is going to be this one which I showed you uh, when I got it but I'm just quite keen to do it so I think I'll do that next and then I've got a video going out on Monday on my carding how I've been going with my drum carder which I love it really really love it helps me use up wool I've sold uh, I sold five of those bags of wool so that was really good and I've sold another hair kit so thank you um yeah so so it's been it's been going well so I'm just going to get these mushrooms done I'm then going to start the owl video kind of because the owl that I've got here um this color is a limited edition at world of will so it's not going to be available and I can't do a tutorial if the colour that I'm talking about is not available. I don't think anyway I should go for one that's definitely available now, put it that way. <laughs> Even though I said I wouldn't do another kit, I, I keep being tempted to do a mushroom kit. But I'm not sure. I just might see how Christmas goes because otherwise I'll just be doing kits <laughs> all the time. And that's not what my, my... it's nice to have a mix of things with my business. So. I've just um, well yesterday I finished these two mushrooms had a bit of fun doing them um, I don't know why I just wanted to do them like that they're not even mushroom colored at all and now I am on to something completely different I am doing a seal I walk past this house every day when I walk the dogs and they've got this um, ceramic sort of pottery seal on the window ledge and it just always inspires me so you never know where you're going to be inspired um, I've got this lovely wool, so yeah, I'm just going to do that. So sorry about the angle and the fact that I'm a bit of a mess, but that's life. Um, so I'm waiting for the wool for the owl to come through. I've um, chosen the colour. I don't know if it will work, so we'll see when it arrives, because you can never tell, can you, on the screen? Now, the other thing was the gallery. So I got the details through for the shop that I was thinking of putting some pieces in, and there was an extra registration fee on top of everything else which was another £30 so I worked out that if I sold if I was lucky enough to sell £200 in the first month they would keep or be keeping £100 so that's 50% commission and I was like that's a lot <laughs> and that's the first month but then after that it would you know be about 30 to 35% really with that extra £10 each month so I watched Living Felt the other day and she used a phrase I've always said that 
up when you price items. It's down to you. It's down, No one else can tell you what to price your items at. But don't sell something if you um, would be unhappy to see it go at that price because of the amount of effort you put in. And she used the phrase, don't regret selling at that price. And I think that's really, really good, actually. I piled everything up on the side. I looked at it and it was a lot of pieces. And I thought, right, so I'm going to be spending probably about two weeks a month making stuff to sell down there. And they would end up getting 35 to 40% of the commission. And yes, of course, you can just put the price on top of the item. But then my items, to me, appear really expensive. And I don't want to rip people off with really expensive items. I want them to be... I just don't think that's right. Anyway, I have decided against it. It was a sort of a gut decision. You've got to listen to what you think is right. And I know I'm talking it all through with you and... You know, should I have not mentioned it in the beginning when I wasn't going to go ahead? Well, yes and no, because this is what it's like running a business. And this is my gut feeling is that that's too much money compared to me selling on Etsy for 16 percent. Craft fairs is like 10 percent to go and lose stuff at between 30 to 50 percent in the first month is just too. I just don't need to do that. So that was my decision on that. So, yeah, waiting for the will now and we can start that out. But yeah, just doing this funny blob seal. They're quite an easy shape in the beginning, so it's quite good. we go I've glued him onto the log hopefully that works done a couple of whiskers can you see them yeah just yeah hopefully he'll stick um but world of wool has arrived so we'll open that nothing really exciting just a couple of extra colors this is for mushroom season the reds are nearly out of stock and then this is for the barn out and I'm not sure I'm happy with it don't know if you can see it it's not the same colour as the one I've got. I'll have to think about it before I jump into the video. I'll have to look at Bar Now pictures as well to see if I'm happy. So I'm just doing this um, weaving kit, which I think the video will be out after this studio vlog. Really enjoying it. Biggest problem I had was the wool getting tangled up. I really nearly lost it with the wool, but I've got everything that I need. So just one other thing about that shop that I was going to put my felts in just for you to look out for if you go to put your uh, felts in any shops. Um, I wasn't allowed to put my felts in any shops within the area or within the surrounding area. So I don't know how far that would have meant the surrounding area. 10 miles radius, who knows? So I thought that was, mm, yeah, I, I can understand that. But what if I did want to put you know some stuff in my in Holmfirth and you know how anyway so I thought that was a little bit mm, okay and then the other thing was on your labels you're not allowed to put your social media links because it's uh, they want people for their shop it's a bit like Etsy want people's emails for them not for us people don't remember when they buy something from Etsy they don't necessarily remember you um, but they remember they bought it from Etsy so that bit I didn't like either because um, I have ordered some price tags, some proper um, branded labels. So hopefully, I think they'll arrive soon. So that's good. I ordered them from Vista Print. So hopefully we'll see what they look like. Because I, I put stickers on mine most of the time so it looks branded. That's a sort of a quick, easy, cheap way of doing it. But I've decided to try and look a little bit more professional. So I'll show you those when they arrive. But yeah, kind of enjoying this. It's nice, really nice. It's good to do something different. I am going to buy a punch needle tool kit at 
Yarndale, hopefully. Um, that's the only other sort of craft I really want to try. But yeah, I'm quite enjoying this. And the fact that you get the, um, the whole loom so you can do more, you know, afterwards, it's really good. Just wanted to show you a couple of things that have arrived. I ordered this from my friend uh, Sarah from Oso oh Yorkshire, and oh, I gave her this material, and she just did the most beautiful bunting for me. So it was a little bit. I wanted it for Yarndale, <laughs> so I got tons of it because it was going to go all the way around. But um, yeah, it's so pretty. I am really pleased with it. It's more me because it's got the sheep on it. So really pleased with that. And then. Crafty Fibres contacted me and they wanted me to make um, some pieces for a show next year. So I did the Highland Cows, uh, the Sleeping Highland Cows, you know, the ones that are quite popular, and um, a Highland Cow Head in their fibres. And so they've sent me a load of fibres and asked if I could make some more. So they do absolutely, they do do gorgeous fibres. They're quite... Um, fine to work with that's the only thing but which colour that colour I think is a really nice highland cow colour so I'm going to be making up some um, probably about five sleeping highland cows and a big highland cow head and they're going to um, the Yorkshire it's a Yorkshire show next year so I'm really pleased they've given me so much uh, notice but yeah what a lovely parcel to get I do love their packaging so Crafty Fibres UK, that is. So I have just been felting and felting for a few days now. So this was original owl design. This is next owl design with the colour that I ordered. And then this is next owl design uh, that's coming together quite nicely in these spots. So um, I've ordered a colour from World of War, which is similar to this one really had to search through World of Wool website. They've got so many hidden wools on there that it's... I found one, I was like, oh my god, that looks perfect. So I've ordered that, that should arrive tomorrow. So my world of wool uh, wool colour arrived and I'm really pleased with it. You can see it just in there. I'm very happy it's as close to that one as possible. I'm intrigued to see if anyone can find the name of what this colour might be on world of wool. If you're good at world of wool, have a look through and see if you can guess what that colour is. Put your answer in the comments below because it took me, and I know it's carded wool so that will help you. It took me a while to find. Um, you know, I didn't know they had this colour. So put your answers in the comments below and I'll see who gets it, guesses it correctly. Um, owls are done, I'm happy with them, so I'm going to do one more because I practice things when I do a video. <laughs> so I end up doing loads, but I'm going to do the video now, so that's next. Just to show you the gift tags arrived from Vistaprint. They're ever so good, Vistaprint. They really, really are. Um, and so just get one of these gift tags and then I'm going to tie them on probably still with string and it will just pop on the item. I just think it looks quite professional and then I can write the price on the back still so I can still write stuff on there. So yeah, very pleased with them. I think I got about 250 for 30 odd pounds, I'm not sure. Which considering I was using stickers and putting them on labels anyway, it was still costing me. So I'm just making something here, um, which you can probably guess what it might be, sort of. Um, so that video is going to be out next week and you know when you um, sort of think of something in your head and it's really fun and exciting you just really want to do it so this is what this is but yeah September I've got Yarndale so looking forward to that also I'm going to go and collect some fleeces from a lady um, this weekend so I'll record a little bit of that see what the fleeces are like really um, excited about these fleeces because the sheep they come off are absolutely stunning so I hope the fleeces are good 
I'm also waiting for the DTF transfers to arrive so I can start printing out my bags. I'm really looking forward to them as well. So we're into autumn, into Halloween, into Christmas. The busy season has begun. So if you've made it this far through the video, a massive thank you. I really appreciate you watching it all. I hope you have a fantastic September. If you've enjoyed this, guess what? <laughs> Give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Lots of people aren't subscribed. Subscribe! But thanks for watching. Have a fantastic September and we'll see you again next month. Take care.